So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Friday, it is tax Friday, it's a new tax mansion every Friday and today we're going to cover true and false. And you're going to be like, oh, what are you going to say about true and false? What is there to know? Well, the two things, uh, I want to cover all DAX functions, no matter how easy they are, and I tried to create a measure last week that where I needed true and false and I didn't use it, and I said, I'll show you. And you're going to say, oh my god, Ruth, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but hey, no shame, I'll show you, I'll show you. So here's the thing, we're going to jump into Power BI. I created some sample data, obviously I cannot show you my the data I was working with, but I have a um, table that contains the number of chapters of a book and then if they've been reviewed or not. So if a chapter has been reviewed it says true, otherwise it says false. So imagine that you have to fill in a questionnaire or something like how has this been reviewed. I'm not writing a book by the way, <laughs> it's just an example. Okay, so um, what we want to know with this data is how many chapters we have reviewed, right? And this is what I did. No shame in anything. So we go in here, new measure, and uh, um, number, hello, where are you? New measure, number chapters reviewed. And now we're going to do calculate, obviously, and uh, we want to count the number of chapters. Count chapter is text, so count A chapters. And we want to count the ones that have been reviewed, so the ones that have true on the review column. So reviewed equal, and here's what I did. I went and I said, oh, true because what I saw was text do you see it says text in okay, so I write true put it in there <laughs> it says uh, no so what is it saying is um, it says it's a true or false format so consider using that <laughs> it's a very polite way to say it or a very weird way to say it what is specifically telling us is if we go in here you don't see it very well in there, but if you go either to Power Query or you see what type it is, let's go to Power Query. You see that it is a true or false, so it's not text. So every time you write true or false, Power Query will identify it as logical and it will tag it as such, and that way you cannot write it as I wrote. So you need to write it. You can either follow that and it will write the true function, which works perfectly. If I don't put too many parentheses, you have it there. We had three reviewed, which is true. Or there's another way. You can actually write true without clicking the tab button. And you see that it's blue. It means that it's, it is logical function. So uh, somehow, Power P will identify this is logical and just wrote true as a function, even if it doesn't have the parentheses in it. So if you write it like that, it will also work. Obviously, the same goes with false. So if we want to know the number of chapters that have not been reviewed, you can just subtract or, or, or you can just put here either false the function or you can write false like that and then you get two instead, okay? So, true or false, now you know. In case you wanna filter by true or false, you need to use it that way. Unless you have them saved as text. In that case, you need to use the first measure ID that it was wrong. So this is all for today. I will see you again on Monday. Um, so if you have, it is Easter vacation here, if you have Easter, vacation if you're on holidays have a great vacation and you will have videos either way so just tune in i'll be here with you the days you know monday wednesdays and fridays so until then uh, take care and have a great weekend bye